Hey, how's it going, guys? It's Stroger for another review. Yeah, so I don't have it completely stretched out. See, I have it bent at the uh, at the very uh, the back end of it. And as you go all the way to the end, it has like a little part where you can uh, unscrew it. And I'm going to do that for you right quick with one hand. I'm not going to do it for you right quick. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory when you uh, actually get the actual item. So just read, follow instructions and it won't lead you wrong. But at the very back, you can see right here, right above my thumb at the very top, this is the part where it's the button. And pretty much I'm going to close it. You close it with your, you know, you close it by, uh, with, you know, this doesn't close out now. Yeah, close it with uh, your own. You pretty much push the button and what, just watch what happens. Boom. So it's going to go so far out. And then your phone is pretty much, um, the, like I said, the biggest phone right now in the market is the S22. Uh, I don't know about the iPhone or anything like that, but it's a big phone. And I have the Outer Box Defender Series case on it. So you pretty much close it, again, using one hand. You close it with both your, your, both your fingers. And then once you, if you want to open it up, well, you'll have to open up the dub. But to open it up, you just simply press the button. And it'll go out just a little bit. But if you want to, uh, if you want to extend it, like I do, cause, you know, because my phone, you just hold down the button, it'll go all the way out. So it's pretty neat. Um, and then pretty much when you put the phone, as you can tell, these are the Latin, this phone pad on each side. So it won't scratch the phone. Or your phone, uh, even at the bottom, as you can see right there, has a uh, phone padding at the bottom as well. So uh, depending on your phone, you want to secure it. All you have to do is pretty much just close it. As you can hear the clicking noise. And then, you know, don't, don't hold Hulk in it. Just, you know, be very firm with it and make sure it's secure. And then pretty much when you put it back on, you know, you, you just attach like that. And then you're gonna drop the, uh, you're gonna raise up the, the little clip I showed you guys earlier, as you can see, boom. It's not going anywhere. It's secure, I've been using it for over a week now. And pretty much with the box, what comes inside the box, that'd be pretty quick, I don't have that much time. What comes in the box, is a uh, instruction manual, pretty uh, straightforward and simple. Uh, it's not rocket science fig uh, figure out in English. And uh, it comes with sleeves, like just little plastic covers. So, it won't, you know, it won't, it won't come damaged, scratched up or whatever when you get, you know, when you get it out the box. So it's pretty neat. And um, the thing about this right here, the thing about this is it comes with two, um, additional uh mounting bracket so you have the one for the mirror which i highly recommend and then you have the flat one right here and this pretty much goes on top of your dash of course the reason why i'm not using this is because it has adhesive and i don't want to dam damage my dash now i'm pretty sure you can use stuff to like goo on to get it off without messing with your dash but it's a little too messy for me and i don't like i said i don't want it on my dash so um the great thing about this product it actually comes with the suction part which is great i highly recommend it especially if you don't want to damage your glass but if you don't want anything on your glass you know then you can use this you know you just simply pull off the blue tape make sure you clean off your make sure you clean off your dash too wipe down your dash wipe down your mirror because you don't want any interference when it comes down to mounting uh this phone holder you don't want it to fall off or you don't want it to get dirty and you know you try to you know uh, reuse it and it's hard to reuse and it's and it, again that part right there for the glass is, is uh mass uh, out of a rubber um a gel type rubber so you don't want to um, get that dirty because i'm pretty sure it's hard to get it off to, you know to clean it so um just giving you guys a heads up wipe down your, your windshield before you attach the uh the uh the camera mount to your windshield and wipe down your dash before you use the uh the adhesive pad so you pretty much just take the blue tape off you know your dash is clean you stick that on there and um sorry about that guys you stick that on there and you're gonna let that uh you're gonna let that sit uh, it's, it's, it's been recommended to let that sit for 24 hours uh, before you actually continue to, uh, to complete the uh, the phone holder. And you're just gonna use this, and you're gonna attach it down to your uh, to your to your little mounting station right there on top of your dash. So on top of that, which I also like about this product, it comes with an extra piece. And for those who's wondering, like, well, what is that piece for? What is it? This piece is solely just to attach to the rod part. So you're gonna, you know, it snaps down. Um, you know, it snaps down. I, I'm not, I'm not using it. I don't, I don't want to use it, but it snaps down and it secures the phone uh, mount from moving around. So you know, if you have a uh, uh, pretty much, a, you know, older vehicle, <laughs> your shocks are not that good. You know, it's gonna cause your your phone mount to, to wiggle around. You don't want to do that, especially when you're 
you're you know you're looking over at your phone whether you're using gps or you know you're using kind of uh app uh you know uber or something like that or whatever you know you just don't want the phone moving around on you uh overall so um the thing about this it has adhesive at the bottom 3m which is great and this too comes with an extra with an extra piece of adhesive uh, also 3m so you're pretty much gonna do the same thing i told you about the uh the mounting bracket over there the little the little pad you're gonna take off both pieces and you're gonna secure uh, the yellow part, I believe the yellow part. No, it's gonna be the 3M part, because that's the strongest part. So 3M part, you're gonna take off the 3M sticker and then you're gonna mount it on your dash. Again, make sure you wipe down your dash uh, uh, thoroughly because you don't want any dust or anything like that getting in the way of the adhesive. It's gonna mess it up. And you only have one of them, so you only get one shot at this. So you're pretty much gonna do that. You're gonna mount it onto your, uh, your dash. Let it sit, again, about 24 hours. Um, luckily in Texas, you know, uh, it doesn't take that long because it's always hot. So, you know, but pretty much just let it sit for a day. And then you come back and you're gonna take this part, take off the 3M, and then you're gonna attach it on top of the yellow part and let it sit, you know, just let all that sit. So you pretty much do all that in one time. Take the adhesive off, put it on top of the dash, take this, this adhesive off to the bracket, you know, stick it on top of each other and then let it sit for 24 hours. And then you're gonna go ahead and just adjust the, 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 the rod to, to the way you, to your liking. And then you're gonna just snap it in there and it's it, cause it's not gonna go anywhere, it's gonna stay solid. I'm not using it because the way I have it, I pretty much have it all the way down like this, and my phone is already heavy, so it's applying pressure already down, so it's not gonna be jumping up or down, anything like that. So I've been driving around for, like I say, over a week already using this product, and you know, I, haven't had any, I haven't had any problems with it whatsoever as far as shaking or anything like that. Granted, if you're doing something like running over a hill or a mountain, you're gonna get a little feedback, but for the most part, luckily my phone is pretty heavy, so I use that to my advantage, and I just pretty much let the rod all the way down, it's touching the top of the dash, and my phone is gonna add additional uh, weight to it, so it's not it's not moving. So, uh, for you guys wondering, uh, is it a uh, wireless charger? It does kind of look like that. No, it's not a wireless charging mount, uh, charger holder, whatever you wanna call it, and that's okay, because. I wasn't really looking for that because I already have a pretty decent charger already, phone charger with the cable, with a lightning uh, charging cable. So uh, I'm not going to get into that because you can find some that's similar to this and it has a uh, wireless charging mount, but I heard, you know, a lot of uh, negative feedbacks about, oh, it's not, it's not powering your phone fast enough or it doesn't work as well and all this other stuff. So, you know, to cut all that stuff out the way, I'm like, you know what? I'm not really, you know, tripping about that part. I'm, I'm really just need a, I just need a solid phone uh, holder. That's it for my vehicle. I don't need a, a super duper charging station. I don't need a Wi-Fi enabled, FM, you know, whatever all this other stuff that comes with the bells and whistles. I just want to stick to the basics. I want a solid phone holder. And guys, forgive me for the light I am recording in the, in the vehicle and just, you know, just kind of, you know, just work with me. But yeah, um, so it's a solid uh, phone holder all the way around. So again, I'm gonna rate it one out of uh, well zero out of five and i'm gonna give it a solid five guys because this thing has not lit up on me yet uh again you know if you want to open up the uh the clamps you just either tap the button or you hold it down it'll, it'll extend all the way out and then for you to you know secure your phone just you know lock it in lock it in it's firmly don't don't overdo because you don't want to break it it's not made out of steel you know it's made out of plastic and uh you know but it's still it's still worth the while. So you secure it and you hear the clicking noise and then, you know, you'll know just kind of wiggle your phone around, see if it's moving, if it's moving a little bit more, you know, just press in a couple more notches and you're good to go. So it's not gonna fail you. Over the long run, I don't see it failing over the years of use because of the way it's set up. Like I said, the rod is pretty sturdy. It's not flimsy at all. You have the suction cup in the back, which will never fall off unless you, you know, you're using it on a dirty glass. But again, you want to make sure you wipe. It's so important for you to wipe down your windshield because you don't want any any lint, any dirt, any dust to get in between the suction pad and the windshield. It's going to cause you know uh, faulty uh, use. It's going to it's going to it's going to uh, you know cause it to pop up, uh, possibly pop off. So yeah, and the thing, the thing about it too, when you put it on there, don't don't take it off every day. Leave it on there. Once you get it to a position you want to put it on, leave it there. It's not going to do anything. Uh, it's not going to damage your windshield. Anything there. It's not going to cause it to um deteriorate over the years it's made for this so find a good spot for it don't put it in your way because that's why i have mine ducked down you know to where i'm not blinded by my phone or the or the, or the uh the actual phone holder so it's, a, it's in a great position as far as my opinion i could have put it down lower but i'm like you know what it's good where it's at it's not bothering me it's not my vision so i'm gonna stick with that and of course you can use the, the suction pad the little the little mounting pad for your dash and of course i'm not gonna use it i don't want to ruin my dash so 
Um, you know, if you guys want to use it, you know, it's up to you. It's your vehicle, whatever. But make sure, again, you make sure you wipe down that dash and get all that dust and dirt out of there because you don't want this pad to get dirty and you won't be able to uh, use it to its full potential. So, anyway, guys, again, if you were interested in this phone case, it's just, I mean, this this car holder, this phone uh, holder for your vehicle, uh, I have a link in the description down below. If you have any comments about any uh, phone uh, holders that you use for your vehicle, please let me know in the comment section. If you think you can find one cheaper, you found one cheaper. Or, you know, if you, if you believe spending a lot of money on a phone holder is worth it, just let me know in the, in, in, you know, in the, in the uh, description, I mean, in the comments down below. You know, I'm not uh, going to bash you for your opinions or your thoughts or whatever. That's what it's there for. Um, again, follow. Make sure you follow. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. And uh, leave a comment down below. And, uh, yeah, so I'll be doing a, a giveaway uh, for his actual phone holder, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and do it this week. Uh, for a lucky winner, I'm only going to pick one. So uh, make sure you like, uh, comment, subscribe, you know, pretty much that. And I'm going to have to pick you guys and uh, pick somebody this week. And, uh, you know, we'll go through the uh, information throughout the, uh, in, the, in, the, in the inbox for the address. And, I, again, whatever I see you guys, you know, it's free shipping and hell. You're not paying for anything. It's going straight to your door for free. Uh, it's not a gimmick. I'm not trying to upsell you or anything like that. I'm just, you know, advertising these products. And give you my honest opinion. I'm, you know, I'm testing these products out because I don't want you guys to waste your money or your time on it. So, you know, long story short, thanks for watching the video. Again, I'll be picking a winner this week uh, for a free uh, uh, Q-Tick, uh, you know, phone holder for your, for your vehicle. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned. Till next time, guys. Uh, take care. Till next time, Stroker. I'm out.